Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Here we are once again to sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fantastic. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights. Today we have an Ohio beer, not that far from here. The Railroad Brewing Company, located in Avon, Ohio. Oh, they got a lovely little place there, my friends. I went there when they first opened. Very beautiful indeed. This is the train wreck. Described as an India Pale Ale, an IPA. Checks in at 7.1% alcohol by volume, and the IBUs are 44. Now, according to the date stamp on the bottom here, it is 32, no, I'm sorry, 34 days old. That's not old at all for an IPA. That certainly isn't. This is brewed with about five varieties of hops. Let's see if I can remember them all when I open this can. Nugget, Galena, Cascade, Centennial, in Willamette. How about that? There you go. I'm not past it yet. <laughs> yeah, good. I was hoping this wasn't going to be a hazy IPA, but it is a very dark color for an IPA. Look at that. Yeah, isn't that a dark color for an IPA? Look at that. We're pouring this into an Imperial pint glass because this is a 16-ounce can. Imperial pint glass is 20 ounce. Wow, that is reminds me of autumn. Look at that color. <laughs> Oh, wow. That is dark with the uh, beige head on it. Oh, man. Hey, this is an unusual IPA. I get, I get some malt in there. Wow. Very interesting. Let's, uh, let's see what it's all about. We're going to find out in a minute. All right. We got it right up to the top there where it needs to be. Let's get that thing over there so it doesn't fall over. Isn't that something, huh? Yeah, it's quite lovely. Very lovely. Let's see what, what else we can get in the aroma. Well, I tell you what, I get a little uh, grapefruit in there, uh, some floral hops. Man, I can't get over that color, though, for an IPA. Look at that. <laughs> That's like a rust color, isn't it? Yeah, isn't that like a rusty color? There's probably a better color descriptor I could use than that, but that's what comes to my mind, rust. <laughs> We're not going to be drinking rust, though. We're going to be drinking great beer. And I'm going to thank those guys out there at Railroad Brewing. Yeah, I'm sure they remember me with this crazy beard. <laughs> I think I drank everything in sight that day. Yeah, well, hey, we got to sample the beer, baby. <laughs> All right, hey, thanks to the brewers out there in uh, Avon, and thanks at home for watching. Cheers. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a lip smacker, baby. Ooh, let's have some more of that. That's pretty good. Wow. You definitely get the grapefruit. The citrus is in there. Mm, man, is that good. Some pine in there as well. Ooh. Nice, dry, bitter finish on there. It's only got 44 IBUs, but still quite a bit of bitterness in there. Mmm. Oh, man, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's a lip smacker, baby. Now, I don't remember having this one when I was out there. Of course, brewery is brand new. It's been around now for a few years, so I'm sure they've added some beer since I've been there last. <clears throat> I did have an IPA, and I do remember they had a Railroad Crossing logo up in the brew pub, but I, I just don't remember drinking this beer. I just don't. This is a very unconventional IPA, first with the color, then with the aroma, because I definitely get some nice sweet caramel malt up front, which I still get in the taste. But then we have that grapefruit, we have that pine, we have that dry bitter finish in here. So it's uh, it's very interesting what brewers can do with beers these days. From the color 
to the aromas, to the flavors, just, just amazing. Because if I put that on the bar, I don't think many people would say it was an IPA. I just don't think no, they wouldn't. <laughs> no way, man. No, I, I'm not. Uh, I, I know about hops, but I'm not that well versed to tell you what hop is giving it what flavor and what malt is in here to give it this color. Um, man, that uh, I don't want to call it an aftertaste, but the the taste that's lingering on my palate. Ooh, it is it is very bitter. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I like it. Cheers to that. I'm going to sit here and sip on this and really enjoy it. Man, that's good. That's good. And I like to support my local breweries, and you should too. Again, this is from uh, the Avon. I'm sorry. I almost said Avon Brewing Company. <laughs> it's from the Railroad Brewing Company, baby. There is an Avon Brewing Company. Yeah. I don't think they can, though. I don't think they do. Yeah, Railroad Brewing Company, they're in, in Avon, Ohio. And uh, this is a great beer. Yeah, if you uh, get a chance to try it, you should definitely definitely try it don't let life go by life is too short you got to be happy and that includes drinking great craft beers like this one right here baby cheers to that okay everyone as promised dr dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also first on the list is rivalrybrews.com now don't worry i'm going to put the links in the description box for you Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina, and they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now I think they it, it charged me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated, and if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio. They specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it, less, it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German beer of the month club so i get 12 bottles from six different breweries two of each once a month and there's a lot of beers in there that i've never heard of from germany i thought i had them all not even close and then i have the around the world beer club which is exactly what it sounds like it's beers from all over the world so far i only got one beer that i didn't really like uh you know it happens it happens, and, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. 
Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mmm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Dave's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and um. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to, uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.